Iran is pledging revenge tonight, accusing Israel of attacking its embassy complex in Syria and reportedly killing at least seven Iranian military officials. That includes a top general. The airstrike comes as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu faces growing pressure to step down. CBS's Holly Williams has the new developments from Tel Aviv. An Israeli airstrike destroyed a building belonging to Iran's embassy in Damascus, according to Iranian state media. Iran's Revolutionary Guard said one of their senior commanders was among the dead. Israel's military didn't comment, but it's thought to regularly strike Iran-linked targets. In Jerusalem, for the second day running, protesters called for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's resignation. And in Tel Aviv on Saturday, demonstrators filled the streets around Israel's defence ministry, protesting Netanyahu's handling of the war. So you're unhappy with how Israel is... Is, is waging the war in Gaza. They are running this war in a way which doesn't have like, a, um, uh, you know, like an end in sight. With the death toll in Gaza now over 32,000, according to the Hamas-run health ministry, Israel's under mounting international pressure to agree to a ceasefire. But Netanyahu appears in no rush and nor does Hamas. You are besieged. Dr. Bassem Naim is Hamas's head of international relations. What has this war achieved for Palestinians? Because from outside, it looks as if all that Hamas has achieved is in getting more than 32,000 Palestinians killed. It is not about uh, this round of confrontation. We are talking about the long journey of suffering of the Palestinians under this occupation. U.S. and Israeli officials spoke by video conference today about Israel's plans to launch a ground offensive in the city of Rafah in southern Gaza. The U.S. has warned against it without a credible plan to protect civilians. Nora. Holly Williams, thank you.